All right, good morning, everybody. We're it's the fourth night of Sukkot. It is uh, the Ushbizin of Moshe Rabbeinu, according to the teaching of the of, of the Hasidic teaching, <laughs> and it's also the yard site of Rabbeinu Nachman, Mibreslov, Schusigalin, Rabbeinu Nachman, Ben Fega, Mibreslov, Schusigalin, and Chosmein. So Rabbi Nachman, people don't go to his kever on his yard site. What I understand is women, they'll go on the yard site because they bought her from the sukkah, but the men don't usually go because it's chalamoid sukkahs, unless they're there in Uman. So that's why, but Rosh Hashanah is when a lot of the people go to Uman. But even though this was someone who was uh, uh, not the best uh, friend of, of Rabbi Nachman, was, was, was the Maranayim, right? The Maranaim says when you learn Sfarim from a tzaddik, you learn terms from a tzaddik, it's the same Indian of going to the kever of the tzaddik. So we can go to Uman by learning Lukuti Maran. So it says, The Lashon Rebbein is the Lashon Rebbein, the Lashon Altam B. The Marim Rivas Kaddish B'mivitzin. So we know Reb Nachman Tzchusigalinu he explains the Pasuk about Moshe Rabbeinu and Aaron Okoyen, when Moses and Aaron were denied entering the Holy Land. It says, because you committed me'ila, you committed a trespass against me by the waters of Meribas Kadesh in the, in the wilderness of Tzin. So that's Deuteronomy 32.51. And fifty-two. So tsere, the the two dots are next to each other to make the a sound, as a, a vowel. Is the concept of chinas v'yitzer. It's the concept of yitzira, latav yitzira levish, yitzira latav lotzira levish. It means it's the concept of formation. Form something good and form something bad. Yitzira l'sachar, yitzira l'oynish. There could be formation for reward or formation for punishment. So, Zoyer, Zoyer Kaddish and Breishis. Gemar Brachas, Bechinus Din Verachmim. This is the concept. The two dots represent strict justice and mercy. So, Bechinus Bina. That's the concept of the sphere of Bina, which uh, each of the Spheres are connected to one of the kudus, and bina is is the tzere also. So when the, the kavana of bina is the shame of vaya, with the nikud of tzere. So, meaning that, that those four letters of God's name are pronounced with the a sound underneath them. Shemnoitzer of blood. Bina represents where a baby. Is formed in the mother's womb. For Shakasav ki imla bina tikra, like it says, if you call out to bina to understanding, so you have those two concepts: chesed v'din, kindness and strictness. Ki misham din and misarin. Because from there, the judgments are aroused. Vehi v'china sukkah. Ah. So this is the concept of the sukkah. K'mo shakasav. This is what it says in the Psalms. This is Psalm 139, verse 13, Sukeni, Vetanimi. You covered me in my mother's womb, meaning like the sukkah. The mother's womb is like the sukkah. That's the, the word Sukeni, means that you covered me, you, you gave me shelter. That's the sukkah. Vehivachinus koyachet fila. That's the concept of the power of prayer. If you pray with a lot of energy, like it says in Psalm 35, verse 10, all of my bones say, Who is like you, O Lord? That's also the concept of the Sukkah. Again, in Job, he's talking about the formation of the... Uh, of the baby in his mother's womb. So in the book of Job, chapter 10, it says, 
again, you you uh, covered me, but it's the same word like tzchach, like a sukkah with 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 the sinews of the bones. Because the energy the person puts into his words come from the twenty-eight words that are in the narrative of creation. Shabem Nivroilam. Those twenty-eight letters in that verse of creation, that's how the world was created. And the ten sayings the world was created with. So they receive energy from these 28 letters. If a person says words with energy, with a lot of feeling, of <laughs> power, with force, those are the words of God. That's what it says in Isaiah 51, verse... 15 and 16, and I put my word in your mouth, came out to Hashem. They are themselves the word of the Lord. That's what it meant, that the energy of his deeds he gave to his people in Psalm 111. The sayings with which the world was created, that's the concept of kindness. It says in Psalm 89, where I said that the world was built with kindness, and also Yibana is related to Bina, understanding, and kindness, that's the concept of the sukkah, that's like a hug, where in the sukkah God is hugging us, he's embracing us, it's an embrace, that's what it means, I put my words in his mouth, in your mouth, as I, then would tell Yadi Kasicha, also, it says, I covered you with the shadow of my hand, she bechina sukkah. It's also the concept of the sukkah, she bechina tzel yad. That's the yod, that's the concept of the, the shadow of the hand, she yod yomin, which is the embrace of the right hand. But if the words are not holy words, it's like, she is sorry, sukkah's noisrim, sukkah's akum. But if you. The words are not holy words, and that causes to arouse the idolatrous <laughs> sukkahs, which are just for people, you know, they might build some little hut of their night watchman or something, which causes a batillum. That's what it says in Psalm 144. It says that their mouth speaks. Vainly, and the right hand is the right hand of falsehood. That's a hug from the side of evil. The parish tits b'nei b'suka meiriv the shyness. This what says in 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 the in Psalm thirty one. You hid them in the sukkah from the arguments of the languages. Keep shyness shalakum goyvim chas v'shalom because when the Foreign languages are power, and God forbid, then, then the divine presence is fighting with the essence of God's holiness. It's written in the Tikkun Ezor, Shimu Harim Reiv. The verse says, Mountains should hear this dispute, he Reiv al Banaha the Galusa. This is the f- the. F- the are fighting over their children in Golos in exile. Kibaret Sroli Rabi. This Hafik Oswan Riv, Nasser Rabi. But there it's Sroli, then it's a Rebbe. That the letters of Riv, which means fight, are turned into Rebbe. It's a Rabbi. The Iker is Sroli de Kirch Maisiv. From which cause of Kirch Maisiv, he gets Lamoid Lassis Lamachis Goyim. The main concept of the Holy Land of Israel. It's through the power of his deeds. As written in Psalm 111, the power of his deeds he told over to his people to give them the inheritance of nations. But when this energy, which is the concept of the sukkah of Nifgam, if that is damaged spiritually, then 
the nations of the world are overpowered, Gavri Yimin Shaker, which is the overpowering of the right hand of falsehood, Vahasan Rebbe Riv. And so the Rebbe, the rabbi becomes Riv, the fight, the argument. Zayi Riv al Banaha, then this fighting of the children, the Kolm Shulchan Vim Yards, and we get so that they were exiled from their father's table and they left their land. And that's why the sukkah, which is to pray with a lot of energy, it's a good luck charm to have children. That's why right after sukkah is the holiday of Shminat Saras, the eighth day of solemn assembly. After the, the Feast of Tabernacle, because the way, you know, when a, a woman becomes pregnant, her feminine aspect is that which assembles and collects the the drop of sperm, should lay tapil to make sure that she doesn't miscarry. That's the concept of that I was surrounded in the suk like a sukkah in my mother's womb, sukkah is like a pregnancy, which feels that it's palachana Hashem. This is what it means, and, and Hannah prayed on top of God in First Samuel, for chapter one. Al daika she bechina sukkah, meaning above. It's the concept of the sukkah, meaning she prayed upward to God. Gamer Israel school of the The Holy Land of Israel is also a charm for children to have children. Like our sages teach when in, in the Book of Genesis, leave. For yourself from your land, Rasham Tisklavanim. God promised Abraham that the Abram at the time that there he would be worthy to have children, Kinachas Hashem Banim, because the heritage of the Lord is children. Psalm 127, verse 3, Vizemachmas Sacha That's because it's the reward of the fruit of the womb. Schar Sukkah. That's the reward of the Sukkah. Bechinas Tiskenu Vetanimi. It's the concept of being surrounded in my mother's womb. Because the main concept of the Holy Land of Israel is through the energy of your deeds. Which we mentioned before, the psalm says that the power of the deeds, he told his people to give them heritage of nations. This energy is the concept of the sukkah. All of my bones say Bechinas beginning with Samus Sechini. That with the the sinews and the bones you surrounded me. Bechinas Vasim Dvarai, like we said from the Book of Job. Bechinas Vasim Dvarai, Befiha Betzel Yadi Kesicha. That's what it says. And I put my word in your mouth, and the shadow of my hand I I cover you. So Bechinas, that's what it says in the Book of Micah. In the book of Micah, the Navi Micha says, I'll tell you, man, what is good and what does the Lord seek from you? Just to do justice. That's Zadin. That's Zahadin. That's the strict judgment. That's what it means in the Song of Solomon, verse, chapter 2, verse 6. And his left hand is under my head, Vahavas Chesed. The next thing that Micah tells us that God wants is to love kindness. Those are the inner kindnesses, and to walk humbly with your God. To walk humbly with your God is to be surrounded like the Sukkah. Because uh laws of the walls of the sukkah is that too the two at least two of the walls have to be proper walls that's the concept of the spheres of netzach and hod victory or eternal eternity and glory the third wall could even be a hand's breadth. That's the law. The hand's breadth, that's the concept of the foundation. He is sowed with the beginning of what's near Lechus. 
That's what it means to walk humbly. That's Nea is a Bechinus Yisoid. Because that's Nea, that's humility, that's modesty. That's the concept of Yisod. Right? That you reveal a hand's breadth and you cover a hand's breadth. Because you cover up the private parts, but you walk with the Neitzach and Hod, with the, with the Neitzach is the right leg and Hod is the left leg. So it says you should walk humbly with the Lord your God. To be with the Lord your God, that's the concept of the Holy Land. Ksuba says someone lives in the Holy Land like he has a God because the Holy Land it comes from from the energy of his deeds. So we know the Gemara of Vedizar tells us that the nations of the world are going to be tested with this mitzvah of sukkah. Right? As the sky was ever called Kolam and Safa Brewer. It's going to be when it says in Sfania Gimel Tess in the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 9, then I will turn to every nation with a clear language. Safa Rashi Tevis shall Sacha Priya Button. And it says the language, the lips, that stands for the reward of the fruit of the womb. And between the Sukkah Canal, which is the concept of the Sukkah, as we said, well, Gam. Oz this happy reflashinus, then all the arguments of languages also be turned around. And there won't be any argument. There'll just be one language to serve God with one shoulder. Then the truth will overpower Kamaisha Kosov Swas Emes Tikanlad. As it says in Mishla, in the book of Proverbs, chapter twelve, verse nineteen, that the true speech Stands forever. I know feel Akim Yachsu loved Yishchem Echad. Meaning, all the pagans will go and serve the one true God with one shoulder. Zayim Seitiv. That's what it means in Genesis chapter four, verse seven. If you do good, says, then you'll find favor. Rishon Tevis Fas Emes Tikun. That stands for lips of truth will exist forever. If you don't do good, that sin crouches at the door. That stands for the name Rachel, but backwards, with the face backwards, the face turned away, that's the concept of the fight, fighting in the, in the exile, because the nations are fighting in the world, fighting with the languages, their mouth is speaking vanity, perish, and this is what it means by Meirivas, by the waters of Meirivas, this is the waters of kindness, Bechinas Sukkah, that's the concept of the Sukkah, that rescues one from the fight of the languages, you'll be hidden in the Sukkah, from the fight of the language, as we said this the same above, the Kaddish Targum Rekim. So Garm uh, Targumum renders Kaddish as Rekim, Lush and Rekim, it's here, which is a concept of artist artistry making a form uh, forming a picture, canal, and that's the concept of le- the vowel Tsere, the A sound, the two dots next to the menu Yitzir of Vlad. From there, the fetus is formed. Midbar Tzin. Why is it called Tzin Lashon Sinai Har Barzel? Lashon Tamarim. Right? There's a a type of palm tree that uh, Mishnah discusses whether or not it's kosher for for Lulav. It's called Sinai Har Barzel. Har Barzel. Lashon Tamarim. That's the, the date palms. Lashon Tamur of Achilaf. The word... Tomorrow means the date day tree means to trade to exchange something. Why? Because God told Moses and Aaron speak to told Moses speak to the Rakhadish to teach the Israelites that, that all the more so 
they should be worried with with reward and punishment compared Rashi and Pokemon by Debor. Rashi says that they, Moses and Aaron they damaged the speech for Garmo Chasur Shalom, Skaver Shalarib Shoyner, so they caused God forbid the overpowering of the arguments of the languages for Garmo Skaver Simon Shekhar. That caused the overpowering of the right hand of falsehood. That's what it says in Psalm 144 that their mouths speak vainly. That's why it's sin, which means tamura, it means to trade. Tamura's kodesh, that's instead of holiness. Tamura's tzere, instead of the the devout tzere, tamura's sukkah the kedusha. It's it's trading in the holy sukkah. That's the sukkah the beklipa. That creates. A sukkah of evil, of externality of the shell, God forbid, of Shvil's onshom. That's why Moses and Aaron were punished. And so we were going to read on some chastera, because you're going to see Moses could see the Holy Land from outside, but there he cannot go. Right? He had Sirl Humikoyach Maisif Canal. And that's because Eretz is from the power of his deeds, like we said before. And so therefore, he could only see the Eretz and could not enter. The schus of learning Torah from the Tzaddik, you know, Rabbi Nachman said, every Torah, we should turn into a tefillah. So we should t- turn around, Riv to Rabbi, we should be Zoycha to the Koyach, of the Sukkah, the Koyach of Yisrael, the Koyach of Banim, of Nei Banim, Ayuska Mater, Mitzvah, the Shema. Those who don't have children should be blessed with children. Those who have children should be blessed with Parnassah and health and all the good things they need to raise their children to be from and to keep Torah and Mitzvah and do the things they're supposed to do. We should all be worthy to be blessed. In the Schus of Rebbeinu Nachman, Ben Fegem, Rebreslov, Schus Yigal, and Gosmun, Nachman, Nevea, Mekar, Chochma. We should be worthy to come back and drink from that that stream, that 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 well of wisdom that is Rabbi Nachman's Torahs, and and be worthy to go out of Golis, the Schus of Rabbi Nachman, Ben Fagim, Ben Brezlov, and all the Tzidikam Mitzim, Sheikh Nafu, Tzidikam Mitzim, Shemirenu, and the Ben Shalom should help us to be worthy to that the Schus of the Mitzvah of the Sukkah. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment, and we'll see you later. I like to turn this signal off.